Hello everyone and welcome to Low Budget Otaku and if you click this video you already know what I'm reviewing but I'm actually not very sure myself at this moment because supposedly I bought a NECA Pennywise the new 2017 version and it's supposed to be the original now that's what the seller had in the description but from another user he kind of said that maybe it's not the original and instead it is a KO so I'm going to analyze because I paid the price of an original for this so uh, I'm going to be a bit pissed if it is a KO now let's see about the packaging and how it came packaged We got this. I this is not the best type of protection that I've seen so far. Um, I prefer bubble wrap, but okay, okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's actually well protected. Oh, but let me see. So we got our box here. Actually, you now for example, play art Kai. I can tell by the box if it is an original or if it is a KO. Neca, I'm not sure. Okay. <sighs> okay, the box looks actually very uh, good, but I don't know the material if it uh, feels right or not. Hmm. This is not the original. I'm pretty sure right now, and I'll explain how uh, when I unbox it because there's there's some things that I I think are obviously different uh, well, let's try to take it off uh, now I'm probably also going to check about the way it's, it's packaged itself if it is there are some difference or Follow not me. but first you. let's okay so we get, we got our box here I'm not sure if the colors really match got the windscreen it's a little bit strange a little defect there on the box I like really like the artwork. Got some pictures of the figure and <laughs> coming from the balloons of the image from the movie. It says seven friends, so we have a small description. Uh, says here what it comes with. Uh, warning, shocking hazard. So. I'm not sure if there's any difference on the box. Maybe I'll, I'll check later, but for now I don't see any major difference there. Uh, so let's open here and take it off. Okay. That smell also tells me it may be a KO. Now I believe the first clue that I think it is a KO is this face. Uh, the detail on the tip just does not look as good as the one shown in the box and from some figures that I saw. Uh, but I need really to ch recheck and I think... Okay, I already seen some paint problems in the hair. Uh, is, is, this the, is it print? I don't know, see, see there. Okay, so after my initial footage that I got, I decided to refill film some parts of the review to better give you an opinion after watching again some images of the original figure and now I can definitely tell you more about how to spot this KO. So for example this face in a vacuum looks very good but then you look for example at the nose and you can tell that it, the paint is actually not finished. And another problem that this KO definitely has is the weathering. Now the original face is really well weathered in like the clown paint is very much like a realistic tone. And this is like just this matte white that doesn't look as good and then all of these wrinkles in the original are well uh, weathered so they really look like shadowy they really look realistic 
Now this, oh my god, they, they look like they tried to <laughs> do some panel lining like they were doing a model kit and gave up halfway because some are, are definitely panel lined and others are not. So it gives like a strange finish. I'll probably try to personalize this with some of my model kit tools to see if I can make it look better. But it definitely shows that it's not the original. But the sculpt looks exactly the same, just the paint and the weathering is not the same, like the hair color is also not a good match. Now this face is the most egregious one. The teeth look terrible compared to the original. Uh, like the gum the, uh, of his mouth looks too pinkish. The teeth uh, don't have any of the detail that the original has. Then of course here the same problem with the lack of weathering and uh, on those wrinkles. Uh, it's just the worst face definitely and there's a small problem here in the hair but this is almost not noticeable. And then we got that this got two open hands for each hand. I, I think here yeah, it doesn't look as bad it's actually one of the things that is if it, there's the, probably some difference but you, you will probably not notice the balloon also looks okay it's not a problem I think the balloon is well done the SSA Georgie is also well done but there's a small extra plastic here but easy to remove if you have a uh, dissection blade and then we got our figure there by the way that background is inside the box let me focus yeah so it's great for taking pictures now we got our Pennywise here and the last face uh, this is actually the face with more weathering but again it, it's not a good weathering it's not as good as the original it's weird Here, this one he actually looks greenish, the panel lining that they did. It just doesn't look like it should look and it is very disappointing. <sighs> then, oh my god, it's how, how did they mess this up? I, I don't understand, but you can see that even here the paint is not very clean. It's definitely not as good as the original. And uh, then we have a, another stupid problem is this hand should have a hole so you can peg the balloon. And you can see the mark of the hole there but it's just not open so I probably have to use a dissection blade to open that hole and probably it's not going to be very good. <sighs> so definitely a KO, definitely the seller was dishonest. And this was a very fast KO that they did. Now another thing that you notice that it is a KO is very loose. Um, yeah, it's a, it's not that it's completely terrible, but it definitely is looser than it should be, and you should be aware of that. Now another problem that I've seen, like these articulations on the foot, they are a bit weird. They are tearing some plastic there. And that doesn't look very good. It actually makes me afraid of breaking it. And now comes the interesting part. Let your fingers get in there and have a good old rubber dub. Focus. We got that peg in the head and a ball joint in the neck. Give us great range of motion. No problem there. And it looks very creepy while posing. Here we got, I think uh, it's a ball hinge. Well, we do have, a, I think, a peg and a hinge here. Not the best articulation in the world, but it gives you good range of motion up down. We have a bicep swivel. Then we have, I think it's double hinged. Yeah, it's a double hinged elbow. And for the hand, we have a ball hinge. So really nice there I think we have a ball joint in the waist allows us to crunch that far and look back that far some swivel 
Uh, and here I don't think there's anything else. He cannot spread too far because of his skirt. It, yeah, the system of the legs is a bit weird, so it, it's a ball hinge there. So. A bit different than the classic ball joint. Kick forward <laughs> very little, kick back very little again. And again we have a double hinged knee, so great articulation there. But again these, jo these joints are a little bit too loose. And uh, yeah, a little bit too loose here, especially this one. And for the foot it's a bit weird, but I think it's just a hinge. That is a very uh, it is terrible. This is terrible. This this looks almost glued. This this is the worst one. The the foot are the worst ones. Definitely, uh, I'm I'm most afraid of of moving them because they're. Uh, they seem like they're going to break. Oh, my God. Uh, so, uh, the articulation is decent, except for those feet. Um, but any, of course, his legs are a bit too loose. Like the arms, uh, not bad, but the legs are a bit too loose. It's weird to judge this figure because especially I had the expectation of a real figure and certainly getting a KO that I didn't even know existed is a bit weird so I may be a little bit too harsh on this review uh, but yeah it is it is definitely not the original it's not that it's too bad but of course it all depends on the price let's look at his size Nekadante Variable Action Hero Gintoki Amazing Yamaguchi Vasta Stampede SH Figure Arts Thanos Figma Ram Play Art Sky Tifa Lockhart Now in a vacuum the figure doesn't look that bad and it's not that bad but Unlike a lot of other brands, NECA is not that expensive, like in my country this figure is going to be in sale for 32 euros I think in the end of September and uh, right in Japan it costs us 30 euros, in USA it's even cheaper uh, and this guy I think now that I've seen like the prices get real so the Definitely KOs at sale. It's like 20 euros. I paid 29 for it. I don't think the, the 10 euros that you save up on this figure are worth it. As for 10 euros more, you get a real amazing figure. I can only see this guy being worth it if suddenly the figure becomes rare and the price is skyrocket. Otherwise, definitely buy the original. I hope the review was useful, if you enjoyed the review don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't and hit that little bell icon to always know when the next review is up. Leaving you guys with some amazing pictures. See you next time.